Good morning guys. Today I'm I'm going to explain you about acrylic fiber uh, of grade 8 uh, chapter synthetic fibers and plastics. Me Agar Sudhir is going to explain you. So let's go into the topic. First you see some pictures. Uh, I didn't get it clear. See. These are the pictures of acrylic fibers. See the next picture. I didn't get it much clear but I made it little small then it's clear. See these pictures. Now let's go into what are acrylic. So acrylic fibers are synthetic fibers. Like I told you before it is a synthetic fiber. Uh, just underline these points. It will be good. Acrylic fibers are synthetic fibers made from a polymer, polyacrylonitrile. So, what is the monomer of acrylic fibers? Acrylonitrile. And the polymer of uh, acrylic fiber is polyacrylonitrile. With an average of molecular weight of 100,000, about 1,900 monomer units. Yeah, it is the weight of this. It's also a good point. See? And next, for a fiber to be called acrylic in the US. In the US, people call it acrylic. The polymer must contain at least 85% acrylonitrile and monomer. As I said, it's a monomer in this fiber. 85% of it is this acrylonitrile monomer. And typically, core monomers are vinyl acetate or methyl acrylate and like with this monomers I said 85% and the other 15% is left. This 15% contains vinyl acetate or methyl acrylate. Two point created the first acrylic fibers in 1914. He is a scientist. His name is Dupont. He created the first uh, acrylic fiber and what is the date he created it is 1941 and trademarked them under the name Orlon he trademarked like he marketed the fibers under one name and that name is known as Orlon it was first developed in the mid 1940s like I told you it is developed in 1940s that century but was not produced in large cone. This Orlon company, it was first developed in mid 1940s. At that time, it was small. It did not produce much things. Only small quantities it produced. But only until 1950, it produced small quantities. After that, it started producing large quantities. And strong and warm acrylic fiber is often used for sweaters and track suits. Like if this acrylic fiber which is made is strong and durable and warm then it is used for sweaters we wear and track suits and as linings for boots and gloves there will be linings for our football boots right or the other boots we wear and our gloves which we wear both as well as in furnishing fabrics and carpets in carpets and other fabrics we use this acrylic fibers so they play a very important role in our life and it is manufactured as a filament then cut into short staple lengths similar to wool hairs and spun into yarn. See this is how this acrylic fiber is made. It is manufactured as a filament then cut into short staple lengths similar to wool hairs and then spun into yarn. So this is how it is made. Just highlight it. I'll just highlight it and give it. See, yarn is also blue. Just I'll highlight it. So it will be good for you. Yeah. See, it is manufactured as a filament, then cut into short stab length similar to wool hairs and spun into yarn. It's a very important point. Uh, yeah, just look at this. 
like all of you if you are just screenshot it it will be good for the future and the next is mod acrylic it's a modified acrylic fiber that contains at least 35 percentage and at most 85 percentage acrylonitride monomer as i said it's modocrylic it's a type of acrylic fiber which is modified and it contains at least 35 percentage and at most 85 percentage ac acrylonitrile monomer the comonomous vinyl chloride made used or this we discussed before and we did not discuss about vinyl laden chloride or vinyl bromide these are the comonomers which are used in modo acrylic fiber and it gives the fiber flame retardant and properties um, this modo acrylic these things these comonomers right it give the fiber flame retardant properties end uses of modo acrylic include fox fur wigs hair extensions and protective clothing these are some examples of this moda acrylic with this people make these things and today only this much bye have a nice day